Hey guys, welcome back. Fred here from AF Math and Engineering. And uh, in this video, we're gonna go over that alleged uh, question that's breaking the internet, okay? So I'm sure you've seen this on Facebook where we have um, this uh, six, and then we have an obelisk or div a division sign, and then we have a two, and then times that we have a brackets, one plus two term. And um, there is significant, if, you, if you've ever gone to these Facebook little posts, which I like doing personally, there's significant disagreement in terms of what it is. Is it is it one? Is it nine? So we're going to go into Wolfram Alpha and we're going to check what Wolfram Alpha says, and then we're going to go look over some of the reasons why people are getting different answers. Cool. So um, and as always, guys, if you're enjoying uh, our video and our this video and our content and our channel, please hit the subscribe button down below. It really does help us. It motivates us to make more videos like this one. Let's take a look at the question. Okay, and like I said, we have six divided by two times one plus two. Okay, and the the reason why people are making mistakes on this is it's a notation issue. Okay, because you know you don't normally get this division sign and then sum operation like two times a bracket. All right, usually. Okay, normally you would get this in terms of a rational number, maybe six over two times one plus two. So that's where the con confusion comes in. So are we? Um, so let's look at it a few different ways. All right, and first of all, before we start, let's take a look at Wolfram Alpha. So if we go ahead and we um, we go to WolframAlpha.com, which is a really useful tool that uh, you know us engineers and, and mathematicians use. And we go over and we, um, we we enter this just as it's written. And we don't have the obelisk, so we'll put the slash 2 times 1 plus 2. We'll see what it gives us. And it is going to give us 9. Okay, um, well, why is it giving us 9 there? And the reason why it's giving us 9, well, there's a couple reasons why it may be giving us nine. So let's take a look at the three different ways that you can kind of look at this. And the first way that we're going to look at this is by using bed mass. So if, if you're not familiar with bed mass, it's essentially the order of operations. So we have brackets, exponents, division, multiplication, addition, and subtraction. And these are the order in which we are taught as uh, students in grade school to complete operations or mathematical operations. So we're supposed to complete, complete them from the left to the right. And as you'll see here, uh, division comes first before multiplication. So that's probably what uh, Wolfram Alpha and what a lot of people are thinking is that let's just do the division first and then we'll do the multiplication after. And we could do the brackets first, but that's not really going to change anything. So, okay, let's, let's do the brackets first. So uh, we're going to have 6 divided by 2 and we're going to do 1 plus 2, so we have 3. Okay, and if we go ahead and we do this division here, we're going to have 6 divided by 2 times 3, okay? And that is going to be equal to uh, 3 times 3, which is 9. Okay, so that's probably what Wolfram Alpha did, something similar to that. Now, the confusion comes in is, is, is this term multiplied by the, the top value, the numerator, or the denominator? That's the question, and that's where the the tricky part comes in because we could also rewrite this question like this. And that is actually how Wolfram Alpha did it. If you take a look, they wrote it as six divided by two times one plus two. And then we can go ahead and evaluate the brackets. And we get the same thing, okay? So we have 18 divided by two, which is also nine, okay? So that's the same answer. Um, now I have seen one a lot, and this is where one comes from. And it's actually, you know what, this isn't wrong. I wouldn't say this is wrong. This, I think, would be correct on uh, American standardized testing, like the SATs and one would be wrong. But but really, this is uh, it's a very kind of confusing uh, notation that they've used. And I, I think there can be an argument made for this as well, is that 1 plus 2 is actually multiplied by the 2 term. And uh, that's divided by 6. So 6 is divided by this whole term here. So if we carry that 1 plus 2 down to the bottom, okay, as you'll see, we're going to have 6 divided by... 2 times 3, okay, that's going to be 6 divided by 6, which is equal to 1. So that's where the 1 comes from, okay? So at the end of the day, I don't think either is necessarily correct. Uh, I would say 9 is probably more correct in terms of like if you were to do it on a test at school. But I think there can be an argument made for uh, number 3 there. Uh, however, Wolfram Alpha does say 9. So at the end of the day, uh, there's no for sure answer here because at, at, at the end of the day, it is, it's a convention issue in terms of uh, the symbol that is used, and convention does change from where you're taught from time to time. Over time, convention changes. So currently in SAT testing, nine would probably be, be correct, and Wolfram Alpha says nine, but I think an argu argument could be made for one as well. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching, and as always, like and subscribe.